On Wednesday, July 27th, the Fed raised interest rates again, this time 75 basis points. So what does this mean for mortgage interest rates? Hello everyone, I'm Jen, your Delaware Realtor. The Fed rate is on the rise again. Although it's not as bad as some were fearing with a full one percentage point rise, it is still a significant amount. And as a home buyer or seller, you're most likely thinking, well, I guess that means mortgage interest rates are also going to rise. Especially if you've been seeing article titles like this, the Fed rate hike means mortgage interest rates are going to continue to rise. The funny thing about this article is that this was written on Friday when the Fed meeting was on Wednesday and mortgage interest rates took a sharp decline on Thursday from 5.6% to 5.24% and they went even lower on Friday to 5.13%. I even saw some mortgage lenders locking in clients in the fours with great credit. So you really need to watch where you get your information from. But like I said, mortgage interest rates took a sharp decline this week following the Fed rate hike. This also comes after it was announced for the second month in a row we had negative GDP, which by definition, we are technically in a recession. Investors rushed to the bond market, which caused yields to fall. If you've been watching my mortgage rate updates, you know that mortgage interest rates loosely follow the 10-year treasury bond. What is really uncommon is that the mortgage interest rates fell faster than the treasury yield. It's normally the other way around because investors will seek out basic risk-free bonds. If we look at the big picture and zoom out, we notice that investors like to hold mortgage debt at lower rates because at a higher rate, there's a greater chance that that loan will be refinanced quickly, which will result in investors losing money. It is unknown if the rates will settle here or if there will be continued volatility. We could see rates even drop even lower if the outlook continues to be doom and gloom and inflation levels off. Right now, the market is balancing. While inventory has ticked up a little bit, it is not resulting in more contracts. The higher interest rates have played a role in reducing buyer demand. I have seen less competition for buyers and more sellers reducing asking price. Now with rates dropping into the low fives and in some cases into the fours, I do expect to see more buyer activity, especially since there are still people that have been sitting on the sidelines. On the other hand, rates could do the complete opposite and go in the other direction. My advice to you if you are someone that needs to purchase, it is now a good time to get into the market because the last thing you wanna be doing is sitting in 2023 thinking, I should have purchased last year when the rates were still low. The interest rate has a huge effect on your monthly mortgage payment. And if you wanna see how big of an effect it has, you can check out that video right here. Sellers, the market is shifting. So what does this mean for you? It means pricing your home correctly is now more important than ever. The first week on the market is crucial, especially as buyers are navigating this changing market. If a home has been sitting on the market for more than a week, buyers start to think two things. One, the house is overpriced, or two, what's wrong with it? Buyers most of the time won't even make an offer on an overpriced home for fear of insulting the sellers. Correctly priced homes are still selling with multiple offers. I saw that just this past weekend. Now more than ever, it is so important to use a realtor that understands this changing market and can help explain how to correctly price your home. No one has a crystal ball and can predict the future. Now, I know I say this at the end of every video, but let me explain. The economy is not rocket science. Rocket scientists know the formulas, know how to launch a rocket, and can predict what that rocket will do. 
Economists have yet to figure out how to predict what the economy will do. And the reason is, is because there are so many different variables. A slight movement over here in this field could completely throw off predictions and have a completely different outcome. Now that's not to say that we shouldn't listen to economists or that they don't know what they're talking about. It's more saying that predicting the economy is kind of like predicting the weather. The weatherman is most of the time always wrong, but that doesn't mean that we don't listen to them because they have the most informed opinions and they have the most tools to help formulate those opinions. And this is why I look at a wide variety of sources so that I can give you my best guess on a possible outcome. I really hope that this video helps. If it did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new video. If you are a buyer that is looking to purchase in Delaware, I would love the opportunity to help you. There is a link down below in the description for a one-on-one -on -one buyer consultation with me. Also, my email address is down there as well if you would like to reach out via email. If you are a seller that is looking to sell your home in Delaware and you would like to know what it is worth, there is a link down below in the description for an instant valuation of your home. Once again, I really hope that this video helps. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next one. Hey, were you thinking about moving to Delaware? Curious what it's like? Check out this video right here. And if you would love to tour Delaware New Construction Homes with me, check out this playlist right here. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel.